Sri Guru Bhiyona Maha Children, I welcome you back to our online English session. In the last class, we saw the family details, the friends and all the other details of Sir Abdul Kalam. So let us continue with our lesson. Yes, children? Aravind then went into the business of arranging transport for visiting pilgrims and Shiva Prakashan became a catering contractor for the Southern Railways. During the annual Sri Sita Rama Kalyanam ceremony, our family used to arrange boats with a special platform for carrying idols of Lord from the temple to the marriage site, situated in the middle of the pond Ramatirtha. So we saw the three friends, is or no children, of Sir Abdul Kalam, of which uh, Shivananda Shastri became a priest. So here we come to know about Aravindan. So Aravindan has taken up the catering business, okay, and went into the business of arranging transport for the pilgrims. Sorry, Aravindan went into the uh, transport business. He arranged transport for the visiting pilgrims. Pilgrims are people who take up religious journeys, okay, are called as People who take up religious journey is called as pilgrims and Shiva Prakasham became the contract, uh, catering contractor. Okay, Aravind then took up transport business and Shiva Prakasham took the catering business in the southern railways. So, during the annual Sri Sita Rama Kalyanam ceremony. So, Sita Rama Kalyanam ceremony is a very important, okay, it is a very prominent ritual taking place in the Hindu society and they do this is a, a ceremony which depicts the Ram and Sita wedding, okay. Our family used to arrange the boats. So what Abdul Kalam's family would do, they would prepare the boats with special raised platform for carrying the idol Lord from the temple to the marriage site, okay, which is situated in the middle of the pond. So you can see here a pond, a raised platform there in the middle of the pond, okay. So this the Abdul Kalam's family, what they would do, they would create a boat which would have raised platform to keep the idol and it, they would carry the Lord from the temple to the marriage site, okay. And this is the pond of Rama Tirtha, okay. This is where they take the idol and this is the marriage site. Understood children? Which was near our house. Even from the Ramayana and from the life of the prophet where the bedtime stories my mother and grandmother used to tell my grandmother would tell the children in our family so though being a devout muslim okay though being hailing from a muslim family they they also took into account the stories from ramayana and the story of a prophet is ram okay the grandmother and the mother would tell stories from ramayana one day I was in the 5th standard at Rameshwaram Elementary School. A new teacher came to our class. I used to wear a cap which marked me as a Muslim and I always sat in the front row next to Ramananda Shastri. So when Abdul Kalam was studying 5th standard, okay, in the 5th standard in the Rameshwaram Elementary School. So the elementary school is a, a government school and a new teacher came to his class. So, Abdul Kalam always used to wear a cap, okay, Muslims always wear a cap, yes or no children? So, Abdul Kalam also wear, wore a cap and he sat in the front row with among his friends. Along with Ramananda Shastri, Aravindan and Shiva Prakasham were all sitting in the same row. Who wore the sacred thread? The new teacher could not stomach a Hindu priest son sitting with a Muslim boy. You now we understand Brahmins wear a sacred thread. A sacred thread is a thread which they wear across their body. Okay, so they wear that and this teacher didn't like a Muslim boy sitting with a Brahmin boy. Okay, he was not able to stomach the priest son sitting with a Muslim boy. In accordance with our social ranking, as the new teacher saw it, I was asked to go and sit on the back bench. 
So he, uh, the new teacher believed in the social ranking too much that he arranged the children according to their social order. Okay, so this boy, Muslim boy was put to the back bench. I felt very sad and so did Ramananda Shastri. He looked utterly downcast as I shifted to my seat in the last row. So the teacher what he does, he puts the, uh, he puts Abdul Kalam to the last row. And both of the friends were depressed, they were sad, they utterly downcast. Utterly means what? Totally worried or totally sad. The image of him weeping when I shifted to the last row left a lasting impression in me. So the sadness which Ramananda Shastri had when he was put to the back bench is still fresh in his mind. After school we went home and told our respective parents about the incident. Lakshmana Shastri summoned the teacher and in our presence told the teacher that he should not spread the poison of social inequality and communal intolerance in the minds of innocent children. So what they did after the school, these children they went to home and they told their parents about what had happened in the class. Okay. So Lakshmana Shastri was summoned the teacher, Lakshmana Shastri summoned the teacher. Okay. He called the teacher, summoned means what? He called the teacher and in their presence told the teacher okay in the presence of the children he told the teacher not to spread okay the indifferences among the innocent minds okay he should not spread the poison of social inequality and communal intolerance okay you should not be a bad example to the children that was what the main problem that was the concern of Lakshmana Shastri he told don't spread poison or social inequalities among the children he bluntly asked the teacher to either apologize or quit the school and island not only did the teacher regret his behavior okay so Lakshmana Shastri what he did he asked the teacher to apologize to the children apologize means what to ask Sorry. Either ask sorry or you leave the school and leave the island means what? Leave Rameshwaram. Not only did the teacher, the teacher regretted. Regretted means what? He felt sorry for his behavior. He felt sorry for his mistake. But the strong sense of conviction Lakshmana Raj, Rakshmana Shastri conveyed ultimately reformed this young teacher. The strong sense of conviction Lakshmana Shastri conveyed ultimately reformed this young teacher. Okay, Lakshmana Shastri was very strict and he ordered the teacher not to be so, not to uh, find the differences among the children and that made the teacher to reform his behavior. He changed his mind. Okay. On the whole, the small society of Rameshwaram was very rigid in terms of segregation of different social groups. So he says that Rameshwaram, though being a small island, they were very strict with the social rankings. They followed the social rankings very strictly. Social rankings means what children? Social uh, ranking means segregating the children like, uh, segregating the people like um, poor, middle class, upper class so this is the social ranking okay they and they strictly followed the social groups however my science teacher Shiva Subramani Iyer though an orthodox Brahmin with a very conservative wife was something of a rebel so now we are introduced to his science teacher his science teacher was Shiva Subramani Iyer Okay, and he was also a Brahmin and he hailed from a very orthodox family and he had a very conservative wife. Okay, a very conventional, traditional. Okay, conservative means what? A very traditional or orthodox. She followed the traditions. Was something of a rebel. Rebel means what? Unconventional. He didn't follow the rules. He did his best to break social barriers 
so that people from varying backgrounds could mingle easily so shiva subramanya ayer was the best example what he did he didn't uh, separate the people with their social groups okay he was the best example he wanted to break all the barriers such that people of various social groups would mingle okay would come together okay he used to spend hours with me and would say kalam i want you to develop so that you are on par with the highly educated people of the big cities so shiva subramanya ayer was the person okay who encouraged and motivated abdul kalam he would say okay you have to excel yourself develop yourself such that you would be on par okay on the same rank with people from the big cities one day he invited me to his home for a meal so shiva subramanya Mm, ayer he calls abdul kalam for a meal to his house so imagine the situation a muslim boy coming into an orthodox brahmin family during that ages it was something unusual his wife was horrified at the idea of a muslim boy being invited to dine in her ritually pure kitchen so the wife was horrified horrified means what she was shocked she couldn't stomach she couldn't take up that a muslim boy is being called to the house to eat okay in her kitchen which she purely maintained okay she refused to serve me in her kitchen so this wife doesn't allow abdul kalam to sit and eat in the kitchen because she considers the kitchen to be a holy place okay she didn't want it to be used by a muslim boy shiva subramanya ayer was not perturbed nor did he get angry with his wife so the master was not perturbed means what was not disturbed was not surprised he was expecting his wife to be indifferent to the child he knew his wife wouldn't treat the child well but he didn't bother nor did he get angry with his wife but instead served me with his own hands and sat down beside me to eat his meal his wife watched us from the behind the kitchen door i wondered whether she had observed any difference in the way i ate rice drank water or cleaned the floor after a meal so this wife refused to give him meal to serve the meal so what the master did he with his own hands he served the child okay this wife okay the wife of the master was standing behind the kitchen door and she was watching the way the muslim boy was eating she was paying attention to how he ate how he drank the water and how he cleaned the floor after the meal when i was leaving his house shiva subramanya ayer invited me to join him for dinner again the next weekend so when he left the master is asking to join him he is inviting him to join the dinner some other day observing my hesitation he told me not to get upset saying once you decide to change the system such problems have to be confronted so when he is asking abdul kalam to come for a, a dinner in the next weekend this child is hesitating because he doesn't want to be embarrassed once again so he is hesitating but the master is advising if you have to change the rules you have to confront these problems confront means what you have to face all these problems when i visited his house the next week shiva subramanya ayer's wife took me inside her kitchen served me food with her own hands so the next week what he does he goes to his master's house okay but that time the wife is inviting the child she's treating him so well and she serves him food with her own hands then the second world war was over and india's freedom was imminent indians will build their own india declared gandhi ji so while this was happening india uh, india is getting its freedom and gandhi ji says that Indians would build their own India. The whole country was filled with an unprecedented, unprecedented 
optimism unprecedented means what never seen before or not known of okay they were filled with positivity never like before yes children shall we move on to the next i asked my father for permission to leave rameshwaram and study at district headquarters in ramanandapuram so now he has finished his schooling now he has to go out to his college so he is willing to pursue his college in the city okay outside his place he wants to go to the district permission to leave rameshwaram and study at the headquarters in the ramanandapuram he told as if thinking aloud abul i know you have to go away to grow does the seagull not fly across the sun alone and without a nest he quoted khalil gibran to my hesitant mother so what the, when the child goes and asks his father that he has to leave his place to pursue his career the father is telling abul you have to go okay he quotes the example of khalil gibran wherein he says a seagull okay a seagull has to fly across the ocean okay it has to fly across the sun all hardships it has to face and you imagine a sea there won't be any place to rest also so it has to keep up its it's you know it has to keep trying yes or no children does it not go across the sun alone without a nest there is no place for it to rest but it keeps on going so you have to be going in search of your ambition he quoted khalil gibran to my hesitant mother hesitant mother he says because the mother is not willing to send the child outside the city your children are not your children they are sons and daughters of life's longing for itself so he is explaining to the mother that the children are not your children they belong to destiny they belong to the life they are sons of life they are sons and daughters of life okay they come through you but not from you so they come through you okay you are just a medium okay they are not they are not a part of you they are not from you they come through you okay you cannot use that power to restrict the child in its destiny you may give them your love but not your thoughts for they have their own thoughts so he is advising the mother not to fill the child with her thoughts and fears and he is asking the wife to let go of the child for his good let him go and find his career that was what the father was advising the mother I hope you enjoyed the lesson children see you all in our next class thank you children